Hello friends. So today I would like to talk to you about something uh, very important uh, to me. And uh, what I like is that actually I uh, find it in many resources. One for sure is uh, yoga scriptures. But another day I had the lunch with very successful leader, uh, banker uh, and uh, wise man and he taught me what he found uh, about stress management because I'm working with him on his uh, experiences of uh, stress management is that when the people fail they are upset with themselves and they think that it's them who fail and when they have the success they are proud of them because they think they have the success uh, they are cause of failure and they are cause of success and he taught me both are wrong. And I was listening to him, you know, in the middle of Paris um, with this uh, mouth open like in admiration and then I just told him, you are yogi. <laughs> You are yogi because this is exactly the teaching of yoga. This is exactly what uh, what Krishna said to Arjuna, and this is uh, this is exactly the path of yogi. Do what you have to do, but stay detached from the fruits of your action. So today I would like to read you something from from Gita, uh, and this is why I have the glasses. So seek refuge in the attitude attitude of detachment and you will amass the wealth of spiritual awareness. Those who are motivated only by desire from the fruits of action are miserable, for they are constantly anxious about the results of what they do. When consciousness is unified, however, all vain anxiety is left behind. There is no cause for worry whether things go well or ill. Therefore, devote yourself to the disciplines of yoga, for yoga is skill in action. So, those are words of Krishna to Arjuna. And you can decline it in, in, um, in many ways. But please, if you are really looking for happy and successful life, the success is not in the material pursuit. The material uh, success can be actually the outcome of your, uh, of your work, of your action, of your pursuit, but it should not be the goal uh, in itself. So reflect on what is your purpose, why you are here, how you can contribute, and and think about if behind your action is something higher than yourself, higher than just the big account and big car and, and, and big house. Um, and then go and share what you have to say with others. And of course, the ultimate purpose of each of us is to realize that we are not this body, that we are not uh, this personality, that we are not what we are doing and realize the ultimate truth. But, but before we do this, uh, there are all these small steps along the way. And I think that to, to be aware how we contribute with whatever we are doing and have this clarity uh, actually keep us rooted in, in our action. And so we are doubtless and we are fearless because we are not afraid of the outcome of whatever we are doing. We have this clarity why we do it. And it's not just for some um, selfish uh, reason or some material pursuit. And, uh, and this, this would be my tip for you today. Think about it and be clear about why you are doing what you are doing and try to find behind it something bigger than you. Then detach from the result of your action because every result is just the lesson. And see you tomorrow.